Hey, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mings, and it's time to play some more Mings Events War. So, uh, last time we took on Forest Fire. Uh, the reason why it's an A rank now instead of a B rank is because I had to replay it because I, I forgot to save. So, uh, yeah, so, but still, Kartal broke my, my perfect X rank streak, as you can see right here. Today, it's time to play the long awaited Egg Side Down. Uh, this is a map I've been looking forward to. It is against Itlog. And uh, I think I'm just gonna pick the seal that I won with last time, because I heard this map is pretty tricky, so we're gonna go Pyre. Now this map actually was redesigned, and I'll explain why once we get into it. Looks like an interesting map, good luck and have fun! Time to fire up the fires and grill some egg! <laughs> so, uh, Kartal had to redesign this entire map because uh, I decided to give Itlog the Egg Meteor Strike very close to release. Um, so the hard-boiled, as we call it, because I wanted to use Cardal's funny egg strike meteor graphic in the game. This, however, screwed up the map a little bit, so Cardal had to redesign the whole thing, because it was kind of unplayable as it was. But yes, I think you can kind of see what's gonna happen here. Uh, this is a map that is very true to my heart. So, obviously we're going up against Itlog, his gimmick is that he deals more damage on full health, but then once his units reach 6 health or below, they get a defense boost instead. So, they're hard to finish off when they're low, and they hit hard when they're high. Uh, sounded a little bit wrong, but um, he's kind of like a better version of Grim, plus 30 attack minus 10% defense, which is not as trashy. And his defense boost is not as high as his offense boost, because defense is a lot better than offense in this game. This egg stream just sets his day-to-day -day up to, like, a higher level, and hard-boiled is a meteor strike that deals 5 HP of damage. And it also sets his unit stat to normal, so he doesn't get any bonuses or um, penalties when hard-boiled is popped. So, yeah. I'm, of course, playing as Pyre, which is a stupidly broken CL. I have never played this map before. I have heard it's quite hard to S-rank. Not necessarily hard to beat, but hard to S-rank. And yes, I, I do think I know what's gonna happen. Oh my goodness. Alright, so I, I didn't actually notice that Ithlog had two bases right there. That's, uh... That seems kinda rough, I'm not gonna lie. Like, that seems like it's gonna be tough to, to take out. So maybe I'll just go for the Missile Silas early on? I could also get myself a Medium Tank and just roll over them. I think that might actually work. Let's see what the... Oh, 28,000? Okay, no, I was like, oh my god, is he gonna build a battleship? Because that would have been kind of funny. So yeah, Pyre's medium tanks, they are pretty strong. I'm wondering if maybe I should just try to go for the base cap instead of... Ah, no, I'm not gonna forgo the base. What I could do, though, is I could delay these captures. But nah, I think I'm gonna wait a little bit. I'm gonna... I'm gonna get myself an Antire, because I'm pretty sure Pyre's Antire one-shot infantry on properties due to having 40% extra firepower. Pyre is really probably the most busted CO in the ROM. We probably should have lowered her firepower to 30%, but I would take away what makes her fun to play, so. Okay, building, oh, there, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Oh my God, that is cruel, Kartal. That is, that is, oh my God, I love this so much. Yeah, um, that's really funny. But, of course, I'm just gonna base lock here. And we'll see if I can get that base before... Uh, well, I should... That's the thing about Pyre, it's very easy to base lock. Because your firepower is just so damn high. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'll just go more infantry. Oh, I didn't check the S-rank time limit, I should do that first. But yeah, that battleship is terrifying. It deals 30% extra firepower. So, uh, that's gonna deal a lot of damage if I try to go in it. Wow, APC moves right here. Interesting. Alright, so let's see. Let's uh, check the S-rank time limit. Egg side down by Kartal. S-rank time limit, 18 days. Okay, that doesn't sound so bad. I should be able to, to pull that off. Especially if I can take these two bases here, which doesn't seem that hard to do. We do have a missile, and I might use it. I haven't decided what I'm gonna use it for yet. I could use it to weaken the battleship, which might not be such a bad idea. Because that would, like, if I use the missiles on the battleship, then that will drain so much funds from it log. I think we're gonna go on Neotank as well. Oh, okay, never mind. I was able to utilize all my bases. That's good. Yeah, I think if we fire missiles in the center of the battle battleship after the medium tank and recon has gone down, we can deal a pretty significant damage to it log. Yeah, look at that. Okay, I know exactly what I'm gonna do now. Uh, ooh, actually, no, I'm not so sure anymore. 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, if we hit the... Honestly, yeah, let's hit the medium tank. Let us hit the medium tank. We can also get an infantry, which is nice. And I say we just hit the battleship with, like, three missiles. And that's gonna drain so much funds from him every single turn. And now the medium tank is completely useless as well. We obviously don't want to kill the battleship. We just want to injure it. So, uh, but yeah, let us, uh... Yeah, well, that's... Draining fuel on an entire is not going to be a big problem as it is right now. Oh my god, her firepower is so ridiculous. What the hell? And as long as she supplies on friendly cities, the fuel drain isn't really going to be an issue, so... So, we can probably move in a little bit here. We can... Let's send the medium tank over... Oh, we actually... We need to interrupt this cap. <laughs> medium tank or oh, seven fuel. <laughs> so, you gotta be careful with fire. You gotta be very careful, as you can see right here. You, uh... You go a little bit too ham. You need a fuel source. I think, honestly, building an APC, just in case I run out of fuel on my medium tank, might not be such a bad idea. If I had it here, I wouldn't need to pull it back this turn. We want to be careful. We don't want to lose that. Uh, we don't want to lose that missile silo. Oh shit! Is uh, wait? Is it long in range of that missile silo? No, no, no. I can still get it. I can still get it. Okay. So uh, let's put the next missile here. Probably. Yep, that works. Beautiful. Now we can probably attack the uh, tanks head on now. I think uh, it's tempting to attack here, but I'm gonna run out of fuel if I do that. So, I think it's probably better if I... You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna attack here, and then I'm gonna just build an APC to refuel my... Yeah, so now I don't get the firepower boost anymore. Because this tank is... Tank's fuel reserves are drained now. So... Again, with Pyre, you really need an APC. It's incredibly important. It's not a big investment, though, considering the, considering the firepower that you get out of it. So, let us get an APC right here. And let's get some more tanks. Are there air units on this map? I don't think so. I don't see any airports. No, it's uh, just battleships. My kind of map. I love it. All right. So is it going to pop its normal power? Yes. That is probably your biggest mistake of this match. Yeah, so that buffs his firepower and defense. Uh, the battleship, I think, is below 6 HP, so it's just gonna get more defense now. So that's good for me, actually. So it's not gonna deal as much damage. But it's gonna be very hard to kill if I want to kill it. So I think I'm gonna save up for my Prometheus. Global damage is just so damn good. It's tempting to pop Thermite, but I think Prometheus is probably gonna be a lot better here. So, yeah, let us... Yeah, oh, wow, 103%, really? Oh, right, right, it's on full health. It's on full health. I was like, well, that is not a lot, but um, then I realized that's how it log works. So, let us grab this missile right here. Should we fire on the battleship? I think that probably is a good idea. There we go. Man, you get a lot of missiles on this map. And then we can, uh, we can try and take the harbor, I guess. Okay, so tanks do not one-shot infantry on uh, on properties. And we could just put the entire... Let's just base lock him. Prevent more reinforcements from coming out of... We can double base lock him, actually, by doing this. There we go. And let's get another medium tank out. And it seems like... I really think I need to keep up my infantry spam. Oh my god, these units are really hard to kill now. Uh, I should keep up my infantry spam because the technique ranking is actually usually what I get punished on when I play these. It's not time, it's not power, but technique. I'm not building enough units compared to the units that I lose, so... Alternatively, I just need to lose fewer units, but still. Okay, so he's got a sizable amount of income right now and some recons on the way as well. Oh, there goes my... I'm so used to playing Deathless now that I'm like, oh shit, now I have to reset. <laughs> okay, so we almost got our Thermite. It's tempting to pop it, but uh, again, I think the I think the global damage is probably what we want in this situation. And uh, sorry, Pyre, you are sorry, uh, Itlog, you will not get that property. Let's uh, take it from him, like so. 
And now what we need to do is we need to refuel the medium tank so it can uh, rejoin the battle. Oh my god, this firepower. My goodness, it's like playing Advanced Wars 1 Max. So much fun. Boom! <laughs> god, she hits so hard. Holy shit, she hits so hard. There we go, let's grab this city. And let's start the march on the HQ, shall we? Oh, can we attack? Yeah, we can attack this medium tank right here. No problem at all. We can probably do a join here, I think. To make sure we actually get this base. Boom! Woo! So yeah, let's keep up the infantry spam. I'd really like to get an S rank on this one. My uh, cartel broke my previous one. Yeah, I thought this map would be a lot harder. But then again, I guess Cartel redesigned. I, then again, I am playing the most overpowered CEO in the ROM. So it's like playing combine in War Room, you know? Like every map becomes easy. I lost another infantry. Gotta be careful. My technique ranking is gonna suck. And apparently, I also learned something new, and this is completely new, new to me, actually. Apparently, you need to get an S rank to uh, to get colors. This was something I was not aware of. I guess this is a mechanic in the OG Advanced Wars as well, if I'm not completely mistaken. Like, you need to actually be a CO with, or I'm actually not sure how you, if that's like a Manx Vanceworth thing, or if that is actually like a vanilla thing. Maybe someone can help me out in the comment section. Because um, I do not remember that you had to beat a specific war room with S rank in order to get a CO's colors. But that might be the case, or that might just be an, a Manx Vanceworth thing. All right, let's try and go for the cap here, shall we? There we go. And now that infant, that base should be ready as well. Let's do a bit of a join arena here. My god, she hits so hard. Let's just get some regular tanks for now, I think. Bow wow. It's a bit sad that Pyre never got a theme. That's just one of the things we never got finished. Oh, is it gonna oh 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 maybe I'll get a uh, maybe I'll get a hard boiled. A hard boiled might be coming in, ladies and gentlemen. Where would it hit, though? Probably in the Neo Tank, I imagine. Oh god. Alright, I'm losing a lot of units this turn. My technique ranking is probably gonna suck again. Okay, no Prometheus just yet. But if we attack the battleship a little bit, it probably should happen. There you go! Feel the burning rage! My idea for this Prometheus was actually to, like, drain Pyre's uh, fuel reserves. I think that would have been a good way to balance her. Because that would have given her even more fuel. I feel like right now you don't really feel her weakness that much. Like, sure, it kind of sucks that you lose so much fuel, but it's not that hard. I mean, just put... As long as you put units back on properties, it's not really a weakness that you feel a whole lot, so... We definitely should make her weakness a little bit more distinct, I think. And I am going to get absolutely smothered by that incoming meteor, I think. But man, I might just be able to route him. If this continues, yeah, I might, I might just be able to route him completely. Oh wow, okay, yeah, that APC has increased defense, that's why. That's why it's a little bit hard to do damage there. There we go. Oh my god, yeah, I might just I might just be able to com like completely route him next turn. Should we try to drain the meteor? Uh, if we like, we might get an HP meteor, which... Because I'm assuming it works exactly like Sturm's, unless Kartal has changed it, which I don't think he has. I think it works... It works exactly like Sturm. But yeah, I feel like it's a little bit too late to nerf CLs and Manx Vance Force right now. They're almost been out for so long. Alright, here we go. Ex uh, hard boiled coming in, ladies and gentlemen. That is probably our biggest mistake of this match. Let's go. Hard boiled. Oh, nice, it worked. <laughs> I was able to drag the meteor away from the center. All right, I think we can probably, yeah, we can easily, we can quite easily uh, route Pyre this turn. So there we go. Oh, because of the passive defense boosts. We do need a little bit more firepower than I thought. But it should be plenty doable. 
There we go, and before I route the last unit, obviously, we want to make sure that I build as many... Let's get some landers out, actually, to increase our unit count. There we go. I really hope I'm not gonna screw up on technique again. But it probably will happen. But, god, you have so many bases on this map. Jesus Christ, look at that. Look at the amount of bases that you have. Alright, there we go. Let's see what kind of ranking we got. Ah, oh, yeah, perfect 300S rank, baby! I sure did burn you alive. Feels like cheating, because I played as Pyre, but I don't care. I love Itlog's lost face, it's amazing. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's go and uh, buy Itlog from the battle maps. And uh, let us get his colors as well. Because we got the S rank, which means we get the colors. Well, let's take a look at the very... I think it was Katita Sexy who did this one. Pretty sure it was. Oh. No, 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 We don't want to, we don't want to do map edits, Lily. We want to check out the colors of it log. Here he is. <laughs> kind of cute. Oh, I like this one, actually. This one's almost, oh, this one's like combi colored. I like that. Oh, this makes him look like a, like a dictator. I love it. Blue is kind of nice. Green, oh, green unit. Red, I do like the red. Okay, ah, so those are some cool palettes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, join us next time as we... Oh, Missile Swamps. I've been looking forward to that one. That's going to be a lot of fun. That'll be next time, ladies and gentlemen. Take care, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.